So now the first drug we are going to study is drug. First drug we are going to study is atropine. So atropine we already studied. It is what natural alkaloid. It is a natural alkaloid. It is obtained from a plant called Belladonna datura. Belladonna datura. Now the atropine you remember they will cause block M1 and M3 separate in the eye so they can cause indirect mitriasis you know, they are called in a blocker they will cause what mitriasis opening eye because they are closing the parasympathetic system and plus cycloplegia cycloplegia you already know it means what driving movement of eye so the doctor of the or the doctor they will put drop of atropine before eye inspection because they can see everywhere so they use because Atropine, they will be terminated, their action will be terminated in one day in all other organs. But in eye or in pupil, they will last for around seven days. Their action lasts for seven days. So we are using atropine for eye ophthalmoscopy. Now, how what is the mechanism it was acting? Mechanism how the atropine was acting. You remember they are what? They are reversible competitive antagonists. They are Reversible competitive blocker or antagonist of all M receptors M1 to M5. They never act on nicotine. No action on no parasitic receptors or MN, right? No action on N receptor or N N or N. No action on N nicotinic receptors. So keep in mind. Now they can be given. Subcutaneously IM or IV pharmacokinetics. They can be even subcutaneously IM or IV. And T half is around two hours. T half is around two hours for atropine. So it's better if you remember. Okay. See one important point. Actually, atropine is blocking parasympathetic process system. But what do you think they will cause? Every time tachycardia, if they block parasympathetic, sympathetic will go high, so they will cause tachycardia. But in low doses, atropine cause bradycardia. Atropine cause bradycardia because they are blocking the presynaptic membrane. So they are blocking presynaptic. This is due to what? Presynaptic M2 blocking. You know, in both sympathetic and parasympathetic, we have in presynaptic acetylcholine. So in both, they will go and block what M2. So there is in presynaptic, there is no acetylcholine. So postsynaptic also won't work, right? So in low doses, atropine causes bradycardia, and in high doses, they will block what the postsynaptic high dose. They will block postsynaptic M2. So if they block parasympathetic, you will have what tachycardia. In the tachycardia. Now we will study the important indications where the atropine can be used. Okay, so the best indication, the indication where we can use the atropine. First one, they are used in the case of bradycardia. See, in the case of AV block, AV block, we will study later, we will give what? Digoxin. With the digoxin, we can give what? Atropine. Okay. That is one of the use. It is a good anti diarrheal agent. Now, because diarrhea occurs in what? Parasympathetic system. So, we will give uh, atropine and we can add atropine plus diphenoxarate. So, this is what good anti atropine plus diphenoxylate. Okay. Now, third thing, the other uses are they are used as beneficiary anti road for. Organophosphate poisoning, antidote for organophosphate poisoning. Remember this, right? Now, next best use is they are using UV itis. UV itis, UV as a layer in eye, so we will give steroid plus atropine. Steroid and atropine. That is the other use. Now, the other use like mushroom poisoning. Mushroom also causes more sympathetic parasympathetic system, so you can block the mushroom poisoning. Okay. 
in mushroom poisoning. See, they are given before the surgery because they will decrease the secretion, right? So, pre operative period because in surgery we don't want secretion because they decrease what? Atropine decreases secretion. Clear? So, and remember, the, we are never giving atropine. Contraindicated means never given atropine in the case of glaucoma. Because glaucoma means you already know you have more acute humor. More acute humor means you are who, cell, who produces ciliary muscles because of beta 2 cells in ciliary muscle. Because sympathetic is more in glaucoma. Huh? So, if you block the parasympathetic, then it will get worse, right? Because already balance has lost. Sympathetic is more in glaucoma. So, in glaucoma, we never give what? Atrophy. Clear? So, these are the things that you have to briefly remember about atrophy. Next, we will go to the next drug. What is our scopolamine or hyoscine?